Okay guys, let's start this video off with a serious and honest warning about the Forex market. I know, I said it would be next week, but this can't wait. I will then share with you what Congress has up their sleeves that will make you feel even less friendly towards the IRS, the wealth tax, and what it could mean to you as an IQD investor. Are you ready? Let's get started. The only reason you are introduced to the Forex market on this channel is because we talk about the Iraqi dinar, the Vietnam dong, and other major currencies, which are classified as exotic currencies. Now, most of these currencies that we hold cannot yet be traded on the Forex market. However, when they, the currencies revalue, float, or do whatever it is they're going to do, the Forex market is where you will be able to trade the currencies. In other words, the top of the food chain for our investment is the Forex market. Now, I have taught college in the state of California, preschool and after school students as well. There are three things I have always told my students I was concerned with. One, tsunamis rising in the sea and overtaking parts of the land. Asteroids falling out of the sky and the CIA turning on its own. I want you to understand my personal level of serious concern. Now that I have met the Forex market, I have one more beast to add to my list. There are no human type of words to explain the Forex market. The $3.5 to $4 trillion a day trading is a beast with no heart, no conscience, and no remorse. Most traders begin and stay for 60 days to 90 days before dropping out or before losing most of their money. Traders who make it to six months to one year are few. Traders who stay in the market for years and years know exactly what they are doing and for the most part become much like the financial market they use. There are two reasons this channel has introduced you to this monster of a beast. One, this is not my first time building a company that has become larger or bigger than myself. You, the viewers, are running things. <laughs> you just have not realized it yet. Two, there are several of you who needed us to walk with you to the gates of the forex market you have the intelligence to master the market and earn a living others of you have the same intelligence level but needed to understand the beast that includes almost every country in the world the un speaks but the forex market whispers most of us will continue to buy, hold, and watch our foreign currency investment outside of the Forex market. For some of you, and you will know who you are when you hear this video, the Forex market is your calling. A calling that you didn't even know you had. My calling was and is to introduce you to get a basic understanding and training about the site, visit eToro Academy. Now the IQ option training platform, and both of the links are in the description, is better, and that's just my opinion. However, it seems many US residents can't join the IQ option, but you can, I hope, access the training platform. Now, for the plans that Congress would rather you not know about, 
let's talk about the wealth tax and how it could affect IQD investors and U.S. taxpayers. More than likely, this new tax proposal will not make it through Congress. But just in case it does, I feel the need to explain it to you. Right now, the talk is about the very, very wealthy within the United States or U.S. taxpayers. Now, what happens when you squeeze the wealthy is they generally or usually will pass the cost on down to clients and customers. The AMT tax, an alternative minimum tax, it was supposed to be targeted towards wealthy Americans to make sure that everybody paid their fair share. Because if you use the Schedule C like I've encouraged you to do, before the AMT tax, you could pretty much write off everything and not owe anything. So they implemented the AMT tax. It was supposed to be for wealthy taxpayers. But as the years went on and the tax codes changed, people that were earning $100,000 a year ended up having to pay the AMT tax. When you Speak of six figures, exotic currencies, and a currency revaluing or floating or doing whatever it is that it's going to do, then you are much closer to being taxed at a higher rate than ever before in your life. And I don't want any of these taxes to be a major concern to you or a major surprise. So let me explain to you what a wealth tax would include. A wealth tax is different from income tax. Income tax is based on the money you earn every year. A wealth tax is based on the money you keep, otherwise known as your net worth. Your net worth is the market value. Your net worth is your market value of all your assets minus your liabilities. For example, Let's say you have access of $700,000, which could easily happen to you if there is a, when there is a revalue float or whatever of, it, of any of the exotic currencies that we are watching. Say you have total assets of $700,000, which includes cash, stock investments, retirement assets. If you have $200,000 in debt, say that's how much you owe on your home and your car and other debt, your total net worth becomes $500,000. That would lead to a $15,000 tax tab with a wealth tax of 